welcome everybody to Web Crafters. We are a uh, national, um, well-known national printer uh, with educational material. We uh, have 540 employees, two locations here in the Madison area. It's important for us to, to, to do right for the, the environment and the area we, we work in. Sustainability for us, well it started in the 60s with recycling and now and actually they hired me as the sustainability manager uh, in 2008. Uh, being a printing company we, we produce uh, a lot of printed material and you can um, recycle paper seven times before the fiber becomes unusable. On average we recycle about say 24 bales uh, uh, in a 12 hour shift uh, and most of that is just to trim off the books uh, getting them down to the size they need to be. We have a large uh, need to remove trim from our bindery equipment. It trims the books down to size, so you got three sides of trim that goes down a tube and goes to the baler where it gets recycled. Um, there's in the past we had to run all the blowers to um, get the trim to drop into the baler because it didn't have the ability to balance the incoming and outcoming air to get the trim to drop uh, down in the cyclone. Uh, with this new IVEX system that we're installing, we are able to slow the blowers down or shut them off on machines that aren't running. to have an old system we call it a swamp cooler. We replace that with um, mechanical cooling, we're only tempering the air, we're not air conditioning the space. Um, so the economizers are programmed to only run mechanical cooling when absolutely necessary to, to match the air requirements. So we were able to eliminate 35 million gallons of water annually uh, with this new system. Our heat recovery system on uh, our Westport facility it is heated primarily by uh, the heat from the uh, thermal oxidizer, which is the anti pollution equipment that we have on our printing presses that heats up the exhausting air. So, what we can do is we take 100% outside air and uh, run it across the heat exchanger, and it, it heats 80, like I said, 80% of that building uh, is heated by that, that system. So it's very sustainable and, uh, and does a good job. Some of the planning for some of these projects took up, upwards of two years to plan for. Upper management will want to know what the return on the investment is. So dumb numbers are, are, can be tricky to come up with without having good history to go off of. And so what we did was install submetering. We know what certain parts of the building are using for energy consumption. The financing of projects. Um, money is tight in the printing industry for sure. So something that's very helpful is focus on energy programs. There was also some state programs that I uh, applied for. So I got some money from uh, the governor. <laughs> so just getting money to do the projects can be a challenge. Um, again, you gotta have your return on investment numbers solid and they'll check them and you gotta recheck them. <laughs> so that's a challenge. Our, our sustainability future was kind of determined just like two months ago. Uh, we committed Web Crafters to a program called Sustainable Green Printing uh, Partnership. Um, that is something in the printing industry. It's a certification in the printing industry that involves a third party audit that comes in. You have to fill out, uh, well you have to first put in place a sustainable management system. And basically that's a blueprint of how Web Crafters operates. 
it's challenging, but it's rewarding, and it will it provides great guidance going forward. Brought to you by Wisconsin Sustainable Business Council. In conjunction with Green Tier and Webcrafters.